we're in a slightly different spot today, which is the exact corner of my room. You can see the corneriness. Um, it's just a comfy spot for me. Sort of, it's kind of comfy. I've never sat in a spot ever, actually. I used to read in a beanbag down here on my bed. It wasn't here, but... Okay, this video is going to be a October book haul. It's not technically October yet, but it pretty much is. And in the month of October, I know I'm going to be really busy working on things, um, such as tons of schoolwork, because I have exams and things like that. So, I decided to do it now. Um, we're technically in the holidays right now. Why did I say technically? We are in the holidays. I meant to say actually. So, hope that I should get a lot of reading done. I've already finished a book which was Being Magdalene by Blue Beale, which was incredible. If you haven't read it, it's the third book in the I Am Not Esther trilogy, I think. I don't know if it's going to be the third book, but the first one, I Am Not Esther, was in 1998, I believe, some time, some time ago. And um, it's incredible. It's about this religious cult community. It's seriously, it's really um, thought-provoking and intense and emotional. So I suggest you check those books out. Um, okay, now to get on to the book haul. Okay. First of all, we've got Touch Both Ways by Carrie Mizrobian. Um, I don't, I know a bit about the book because a few of my friends were given arts and they reviewed it. Um, there have been kind of mixed reviews on the book, um, but it looks it looks pretty good. Um, it looks interesting, and I look forward to reading it. Next is Asking for It by Louise. I think it, it looks like a Louise. I'm pretty sure it's Louise O'Neill. Oh, gee, okay, yeah, it's Louise. Okay, okay. Um, I actually saw this in a bookstore. And kind of from the cover and the title and the tagline, you can tell what it's about. It's basically about consent um, in sexual situations. And it looks really good. It looks really Im like a really important novel, a really important topic. And I look forward to reading it. Um, Especially because I haven't read anything very controversial, or I don't know how to put it. Nothing really important apart from the I'm Not Esther books recently. Um, and it's basically just been sci fi fantasy for me the last couple months, is all I've been reading. Um, so I, I definitely look forward to reading this as well. Next book is, I know I need to stop doing this, but the library keeps on selling such good books. Um, I actually calculated this, and I think I've paid $50 to the library in books um, to buy. But this one's Dark Near by Helen Maslin, and a friend on goodreads.com recommended it to me. Um, and I thought, oh, this looks interesting. So I was going to place a hold on it, and then I saw this in the to buy rack. So, um, it looks kind of like Ten by Gretchen McNeil, a little bit, which I love, so I'm quite looking forward to it. It looks like a mystery, maybe supernatural type thing. I quite like those sort of books. So, okay, next, The Status of All Things by Liz Fenton and Lisa Stein. I don't know if that's how you say that name. I really, I hope it's not Stink. It is. Okay, anyway, um, I just saw this um, when I was going through the library, and I saw it there, just sitting there, I thought, I love the cover, I think it looks really nice. So I read the book back, and it's, um, it's basically, it's about a, a woman named Kate, whose fiancé Max breaks up with her, and she, and soon after that, whatever she writes on Facebook becomes... The real life. Um, sounds weird, but it sounds really interesting as well, and it's not too lengthy. So, 
I should hopefully read it. <laughs> I have this bad habit of getting books out from the library and not ever reading them, and then returning them and saying, I'm going to read them next time, but I don't. Next book is Adaptation by Melinda Lowe. Now, I have um, been thinking about reading Melinda Lowe for a long time because um, a lot of people have said her work is really good. I might have read something by her, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, it sort of looks like it's about the end of the world. Um, it's got hair on it. Um, so I quite like reading books like that. So that should be really interesting to read. It's quite, it's kind of, kind of like we all looked up by Tommy something. Tommy. I'm not going to remember his last name. It's a good book. I read most of it. Um, next, this is going on forever. I'm sorry. This is going to be over soon. I have four more items. Okay. Next is Read Me Like a Book by we're here to one of Liz Kessler. And it looks really interesting. I'm not 100% sure what it's about, but it is in the LGBT category on Good Read. So it looks good, actually. I've just, just when I read the description. Mmm. It looks like some teacher stuff. Um, fans of the Impossible Night Life. <laughs> fans of the Impossible Life, not Night. Um, which is about a girl who has had depression and she leaves a hospital. She, I think this is, I think they're in college. And it's her, her best friend, and a guy who becomes friends with both of them. And it looks really good. I quite like the cover. You can see there's a sort of friendship, maybe sort of love triangle going on too. Which I'm normally not a fan of, but it sounds like it could be interesting. Um, and lots of authors I like have Coming to the back, such as Nina Lakoa, who is incredible. Read something by her, read Hold Still by her, that is so good. Um, so I look forward to reading that too. I keep saying about the best ones. Okay, next is Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. Um, it's the modern text next to Old English text, so it's got the, this the Old English, this is the modern. I read both. Um, I read the Old English, then I read the modern to make, to make them a bit more sense. Um, this is actually one of his plays that I've read before and I've always had very strong feelings on it. Um, it I really like it. I like it a lot. Um, but I have very strong views on it. I actually wrote an essay on this um, a couple of weeks ago because we were studying it in class and it I don't view it as a romance story. I have very, very, very strong feelings on the play and what it's intended to be. So if you want to know about that, let me know. I can make a video about that. But I don't think it, anyone's going to benefit from me ranting on about it for another 8, 50, 9 seconds. Um, now, the last one is not a book. And it is not from the library. I really, really wanted to share this because it came in the mail today. Pull that voice save rock and roll. And I am so, <laughs> so happy because I have been waiting for this for like days now. Um, I basically saved up to order it online because it's not available in stores anymore and it is one of my favourite Pull That Boy albums. Probably not my, my absolute favourite, but it's one of them. They're yeah, all my favourites. Actually, um, but I really love the Young Blood Chronicles. I pretty much watch the Young Blood Chronicles once a day, which might be boring. If you haven't seen those, it's really good. It's a you can watch the uncut long version posted by Fall Out Boy, and it's this really cool sort of 
it's sort of like a short movie, but not exactly. It's really, really good. It sets to this album. It's really interesting. So, thank you for watching. If you have read any of the books or listened to music um, that I have shared, then comment. Let me know what you you thought of it. <laughs> that was my tongue. I'm sorry for that. Um, if you like the I'm not Easter books, talk with me about them because I love them so much and I cannot find anyone else who loves them as much as I do. Um, so, like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more of me and have a good week.